Why, hello there. I see you've stumbled across my very quick update video. I don't have a lot to say. I'm not very well prepared for this video, but I am going to make it nonetheless. Actually, I have literally no notes, and I'm going to talk to you off the top of my head and just kind of tell you guys what's been going on. So, as far as the channel goes, you may have noticed it's been rather quiet when it comes to just consistent uploads and a variety of videos. Mostly it's been Tomb Raider, a couple of highlight stuff I've put out, and really, there you can probably tell the lack of enthusiasm on the channel, and that's just because I really know I don't really know what to say. I'm not giving up on the channel. You guys know I'm not gonna give up on the channel. I don't really, I don't give up on stuff. Or at least I try not to give up on stuff if I can help it at all. I still see the channel as something I enjoy doing and something I want to work on, but it's definitely taken a more casual approach in my life. Things that have taken more priority are writing, and airsoft, and those are really two things. Those are like the two, well, and of course Sam, but you know, she she's obviously the number one, but like Sam writing and airsoft are, that's four things right there, are the main components of my life that I'm focusing on. I very much enjoy making airsoft videos and I want to try to expand and make airsoft videos to the best of my ability um, with the resources that I have, but that also uh, takes away a little bit from the main channel. And the main channel has really just turned into whatever playthrough series I'm doing at the time without really any time pressure uh, applied to the series. I'm like, I'm not trying to rush through any playthrough series. I'm just kind of doing as I do it. Like, I play Tomb Raider once a week for like an hour and a half and get two, maybe three short 15 minute, 10 to 15 minute parts out of it, which I think is better because it allows me to like spread out the content a little bit more and uh, give you guys a little bite sized video so you don't have to feel like you have to binge an hour long episode. Rather, you can binge a 15 minute episode a couple times a week as I make them. It doesn't help that I'm not enjoying Tomb Raider really at all. Like, the game has become laughable. Uh, if you've been watching, then you know. But also, what doesn't help on the channel is the just lack of inspiration on the channel. Like, I do love Lincoln's Legion. I love you guys. I really, honestly, really do. And all I can ever do is think back on nostalgic memories in Michigan of streaming all the time and just having a lot of interaction all the time. And I want to do that again, but it's just, I just, I don't have the time to dedicate to really streaming and whenever I do want to dedicate time to it the response is significantly lacking and honestly streaming on YouTube only ever hurts the channel analytically uh, if you don't know like whenever you stream on YouTube it basically like after that the engagement from it almost hide your videos from people's subscription boxes like if you don't ding my bell then you don't get notified you don't ever see a video in there and, and like if you guys don't watch a video within the first like four hours of it coming out the video is basically dead on arrival and the only thing that keeps the videos at all relevant is me signing into other accounts watching the entire video after it's published and leaving a like to hopefully make it so at least a couple of you guys can see it in your subscription boxes like it's it's abysmal it's bad and i get it. i'm a variety channel it's kind of hard to stay focused on the channel as a subscriber when i post one out of five videos you're generally interested and that's why i try to focus on the playthrough series because those are consistent content of the same type of video you're coming to expect that you might enjoy and that's why i polled you guys asking uh what video what game would you want me to play and you guys voted tomb raider but the interaction on the Tomb Raider videos is not really there. I mean, it's like maybe 20 views, but most of the time it's like eight views, two of which are probably me, and one of which is Alan, then the others are probably two-minute watch, then clickaways. So I'm not blaming you guys. I know it might sound like I'm, I'm not blaming you guys. I'm just saying that's the reality of my channel. So I do, I do want to stay more focused on the videos I make, but by trying to stay focused, that limits and narrows the scope of what I feel I should and could film and put out for you guys. It makes me feel limited on what I should focus on because I don't want to branch out too far in different types of videos, but the videos I do focus on making, it seems like nobody watches them. At least, it doesn't feel like it. I see a couple of numbers, but the numbers don't feel real you know what i mean like it's eight views a dislike and nothing else that feels like it just what would you continue you know it just it kind of it hurts and it doesn't it feel it doesn't feel great when 
you feel like you have a positive community, but that community is silent most of the time. And again, I'm not blaming you guys. I'm just expressing what it's like on this side of the computer, what it's like on my screen and what I'm seeing. And it just, it's disheartening a little bit. You know, it's, it's, it's discouraging. And that's one good thing about like, whenever I see Alan's comments, Alan always leaves a positive comment. He's always engaging. You can tell he watched at least most of the video or he got made it to pretty much the entire video most of the time. And that reflects and I see that. And that makes me feel really good whenever he comments and he, um, you know, he, he has something positive to say and something engaging about what actually happens in the video. So I know he watches, so that makes me feel good. It's like, awesome, that video was a success. But when most of my other videos are silent, when it comes to like a release, like if I put a, a highlights video or a podcast or something and there's no, the, the comments are what makes it guys. I'm, that's what I'm trying to get around to saying is the likes, dislikes don't matter to me at all. If you comment, I feel better because it allows my depressed brain to know that you're real. So if you watch any video of mine for any more time to form, for any time to form any small opinion on the video, please let me know. Good or bad, I want to know in the comments because I want to know you're real. That drives me. Your comments drive me. Seeing the likes is always good. That lets me know, hey, this content is appreciated. But seeing the comments lets me know that you guys are active and engaging in the content, not just clicking, liking, leaving. It's clicking, watching, liking or not liking, commenting to let me know and then leaving. You know, it's it's those things. It's all that good stuff. So if you haven't already, I implore you to ring my bell because I don't post too often anymore. Um, and always try to do your best to leave a comment. Like, for example, right now, if you made it this far, leave comment down below boobs or comment down, no, don't comment below boobs because apparently YouTube scans the comments and recommends a video based on the comments. So comment Rockstar down below, Rockstar, just because I'm drinking Rockstar right now. So this channel is still, I just love gaming and this is the channel where I share that gaming and whatever have you. Even if it seems like I'm hating the games I'm playing, I'm still having a blast making the videos. So anyways, though, that's my very quick concerns and um, just <clears throat> my update on kind of what's been going on in the channel in general. But as far as what content is coming and in the works, I have a couple of notes. I have a couple of mail call clips that I need to put together. It's not a very long video. And that's what sucks too is like now you have to make a 10 minute video. So if I'm waiting on mail call clips for a video, I have to either wait for a lot of mail, which will make every episode come out like a month, two months, three months in between. Depends on when you guys send me something, which I don't want to have to make like send yourself so I can make a video. It's just like, you know, as it happens, then I collect them all and put them up because the video needs to be 10 minutes if it's not 10 minutes the video is fucking worthless but i struggle to make a 10 minute video that's not gameplay because it requires an abundance of other stuff so like with a mail call i need enough of a video for each piece of mail to make into 10 minutes same thing with highlights i need enough content to make a highlights 10 minutes and then you guys need to watch the 10 minutes and in in my personal life what's been going on uh to kind of enlighten you guys on the slow crawl of content is uh, my work schedule, which is basically every day going in at, at noon and working till getting home at about 9 p.m. So a nine hour day, typically an eight hour shift, but nine hour day when I get home, I, you know, I go to bed at th anywhere between three and five in the morning, I fall asleep. So I sleep until about 10 or 11 a.m., which leaves me no time in the morning to do much besides check social media and maybe play a couple games of apex or something before work and then i go to work and then i get home and it's late at night too late to stream nobody's gonna watch and it's basically up to me and how much energy and mental um mental prowess i have to decide what am i gonna spend the few hours the few hours i have tonight before bed to work on so and these aren't excuses this is just me laying out what my daily life is so every day uh, except for Sunday and Monday is, you know, noon to nine and a handful of hours to figure out how to spend time making content. So it's difficult. It's annoying to try to work around because it's a very consistent schedule. But that being said, um, my Thursdays are now at this moment, I'm only working 12 to four o'clock. So on Thursdays, I will be getting home from work anywhere between 3.30 and 4.30. And then that'll allow me to decide I'm going to do a midday stream or that'll give me multiple hours of being home, usually without Sam being here, to work on projects. So it's writing 
or gaming or working on whatever. So, <clears throat> and then that's another thing that I'm wanted to get to is after work some days, uh, we have been reading the book. Uh, me, Sam, and Dylan have been reading through. We're actually like three quarters. We have like 150 pages left, if that. And I'm loving it because every chapter I'm looking at right now, I'm improving and I'm I'm reworking a lot, guys. It's with when it comes to the book, it's literally just like it's it's almost an entirely different book in the second half. Not entirely different. Like the same sequence of events will happen, but I've changed so much to the point where if you have an old book, it's it's just totally non-canon because I've fixed a lot of stuff that has been stuck in reading Limbo since the beginning. Stuff I just never bothered to fix because it would be too hard and too much work to make everything else play off of whatever scenes I changed. But I'm changing stuff, I'm fixing stuff, I'm making it make a whole lot more sense, I'm grounding it, I'm leaving a better story behind. Trust me when I say that, so... But yeah, uh, as, of, as far as other videos that I'm trying to get around to making in my limited weekends, because it's either airsoft, travel, relaxation, cleaning, shopping. I hate being an adult, but I like being an adult. But as far as other videos, like I said, I'm working on trying to get daily life clips together. I have like three quarters of a daily life video. Uh, I have like three quarters of a mail call video. I have airsoft videos that will be going up, so if you are interested in airsoft, I, I implore you to check out the airsoft channel. I work really, I work way harder on that channel than I do on this channel, because the editing, every, every gameplay video takes like six hours to make. It's a fucking nightmare editing those videos, but they're so much fun. So please, I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate it if you just checked out Lincoln Airsoft. That'd be, that'd be amazing. And I do, I know Alan's already typing out cooking video. I don't want to make a cooking video. I enjoyed making them. But I can never commit, I can't commit to making another one. I don't, I, I want to, but I, at the same time, I don't. Like, it'll eventually happen. One, it's like, this is how it goes. One day, I'm going to get up and be like, I'm doing a cooking video. And that's when I'll make one. But until that, until the, my brain literally decides, because if I, for, if I say, I'm going to go film the cooking video, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be genuine because I'm going to be forcing it. It has to literally happen in my brain to say, I'm making a cooking video today. And then bam. Otherwise, if I'm, if I pressure myself in making it, I'm going to try too hard and it's not going to be funny. It's not going to be entertaining. It's just going to be fucking stupid. And I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate putting it out, but I made it. So I'm going to put it out. I want to make another cooking video, but I have to wait until the day happens where I decide this is going to happen. So it's really dumb that I know it probably makes no sense to anybody else but me, but it makes sense to me. But I have a feeling we are getting near the end of Tomb Raider, so be on the lookout. Follow me on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and all that stuff. It's all A.H. Lincoln, space or no space. Um, because I'm going, to be, I'm going to be figuring out what the next playthrough game is. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit less open world because that slows down episodes a lot. So I'll try to have a more linear game set, one that will be about five or so hours. But you guys wanted the longer playthrough. You wanted it, so watch it. <laughs> Damn it. And I got to do the highlights for Tomb Raider 2. Now I'm just kind of rambling, but I'm just, just talking to you guys. I feel like I haven't talked in a long time. I've just been so demotivated with Lincoln's Legion, um, just mostly with the lack of response and um comments it's the comments i just i love the comments guys um the lack of comments makes me feel like it's not worth my time so even subconsciously i almost avoid making content for this channel because i don't see it so it doesn't stick in my brain and it doesn't inspire me i haven't been updating the website i haven't been doing that much because i don't feel like it's going anywhere and it's it's unnecessary time you know it's it's wasted so, but uh, inversely, I see that interaction on the Airsoft channel, so I see it a lot more, and it's becoming more of a passion of mine, so I'm putting the effort into the Airsoft channel because I get the response. Anyways, if you guys, you know, you want to, check out my podcast, the Whiplash Podcast. Fucking stupid name, but check it out. Uh, ever, just go to my channel, look at all my playlists, find something you want to watch. You know, I have a lot of videos that I re-uploaded from the old channel over here, so... Yeah, I think that's really all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. Again, comment Rockstar if you made it to one point now or before in the video when I mentioned it before to let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Check out Lincoln Airsoft. Bye. Oh, Q&A. I have another Q&A video I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to probably make right now.